What, what is, is up, Booger Beans? Beans? Welcome back to another episode of Adventures with Boog. On this episode, we are filling all the Brad nail holes in the roof. Um, Sydney's going to be staining the roof as well. And I'm going to be working on some electrical, as well as wrapping up our ductwork and getting that all, like, kind of finished as much as we can. <laughs> finished. We're yeah. missing a heater. We are missing a heater, exactly. Um, so we're going to get that done. And, uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys, so we got the wood filler here um, and a little spatula and uh, a whole bunch of bad nail holes to fill. So this stuff is um, sandable and paintable um, and stainable. Yeah, and stainable because we're staining the ceiling. So if you get something that's only paintable, it will look like a weird color after you do it, which is not what you want. <laughs> then we're going to just take a little bit on the on the spoon chilla, whatever this is called, and just put it in the hole. And then come back across it and just fill the hole. So you go one way and then back across and the holes disappear. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now 25,000 more to go. Good morning, Booger Beans. It is the next morning, and uh, Sydney's already out here cranking away, putting some more oh, filler on she's not the out roof. Here for like 30 seconds. Yeah, look at her. She's working before I am. Um, so Sid's cranking on the roof. Um, she's got you got about 50% done last night, hey? Yeah, a little less. So she's got about the same amount to do this morning, and um, I'm going to continue working on electrical. I got the breaker panel put in there last night, as well as uh, the battery kind of holder spot thing madu hickey um, so I got that done last night and uh, I'm gonna be putting in electrical plugs and that kind of stuff this morning and um, hopefully this afternoon Sid will start paint or sanding and uh, staining the roof um, so that's all coming up very soon and uh, we hope you guys enjoy Hey guys, so um, we did all the filler, we sanded it all down, which is awful. Cleaned up the dust, cleaned up the dust. Cleaned up the dust. There was a couple boards we found that were actually um, loose, so we had to put in a couple screws there. We still got one more that we got to fix. Um, we got all the electrical wiring run, except um, the AC outlet for the AC that I have to put back here. And uh, yeah. We're going to stain the ceiling. We're going to start staining the ceiling. All right, Booger Beans, so we got the first coat on the ceiling, and it looks okay. 
It looks pretty good. I like it. Yeah, the um, the filler is a not little bit. It. Yeah, it's not really taking as much as we wanted to, so it's kind of patchy. Out. Yeah, it's kind of patchy, which kind of sucks. Um, so if it doesn't go away, we might just come back and sand those spots a little bit more to rough them up, and then give them a couple more coats of stain. But it's looking really good. Um, yeah, now we just gotta wait for it to dry, and we'll come back out here and uh, continue painting tomorrow. Yeah. All right. <laughs> See you in the morning. <laughs> hey guys. So it. Happy day three. Yeah, day three of doing the, well actually day like 400 of doing the ceiling, <laughs> but day three of the staining of the ceiling, and uh, it looks freaking sweet, actually. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited about it. The wood filler isn't taking the stain properly. Is not taking the stain like I was hoping it would. But it's, I, I, I still think after a couple coats when the stain gets a little bit more opaque, it'll look better, but um, yeah, the, I'm nervous. The filler we got does say it's stainable. But from what we're seeing on ceiling right now, it doesn't look stainable. It's stainable, but it's just it's not hiding. Yeah. It doesn't look like wood. It looks like we covered wood filler with stain. Yeah. So we did get um, some foam rollers today, and we're going to see if that maybe helps. A little easier than the brush. Yeah, we'll see if that maybe helps us um, do a little bit better job. And uh, we also got some a whole bunch of electrical stuff. Um, that I'm going to be working on while Sydney's doing the staining. And we got some wood panels for the walls too, which is pretty sweet. Yay. And we're going to be working on those. These are coming. Throughout the day and yeah, life is going good. So uh, let's get to work. What did you do, Sid? I finished the second coat of stain on the ceiling. There you go. What do you think about it? I think it looks good, but our wood filler holes are still pretty obvious. So yep. that's not great. They are. They're a little obvious, that's for sure. I think we had to sand them a lot more than we did. Probably use sanding blocks that work. Yeah, because some of the ones, like, they can't see, but I'm pointing at one here that it's only the holes that you can see the filler and it looks fine but the rest of them have like little dots around them like we didn't go all the way yeah i think it's honestly it's looking pretty good yeah it looks pretty it's good it's actually a lot better than i thought it was gonna look yeah you didn't like it at the beginning no i think it looks a lot better that's how i felt about the floor and i think a third or fourth coat will be fine but i think some spots we're gonna have to go and touch up that's what it comes down to some spots you might have to go sand it and then try and clean it up or or even like get a like pencil crayon and like color it like wood or something. No, that oh. sounds weird, but No, it's like get awesome. a wood crayon and yeah. make it like a knot. Yeah. It's not a bad idea, except it will be a little weird looking on all of our knots. Well more. not even knots, but just draw lines through it. Yeah, that's true. We could do something like that. So yeah. Um we also got the outdoor receptacle over there complete. And this one I'm just finishing up. Sydney finished before I finish. So she's I'm the very fast. Um so I'm just finishing up that. Sid's gonna mix up a pina colada, have a break. I'm gonna finish that and I'm gonna have some sangria. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. One day we should make our own sangria. A camping cookbook. Sangria? Yeah. That we don't cook in? Yeah. Cool. All right, so uh, yeah, we'll be back in a bit. Okay, Booger Beans, so we are on to the third coat of stain. I'm not gonna time lapse it because you guys already know what staining looks like. So maybe I'll just repeat the same time lapse over again. Um, but yeah, we got all the electrical receptacles um, on the outside of the bus done too. Um, we picked those up from the RV place and the Lowe's this morning. And um, maybe, I don't know if we're gonna work tomorrow, if we're gonna take a break. We're taking a break. She's taking a break. Um, I'm probably gonna do some work. And um, then I'll get the vapor barrier put back on the walls. But we're going to um, continue staining. And uh, yeah, if we get up to doing some work tomorrow, I'll let you guys in on it. So we'll talk to you later. All right, Booker Bean. So that wraps it up for this episode of Adventures with Boo. We got the ceiling completely stained. We've got mostly electrical in the bus. Um, the outdoor receptacle is complete. 
And on the next episode, we'll be only installing our second diesel heater, as well as finishing up the electrical, hopefully. Um, no, we won't finish it, um, because we're still waiting on a couple things to be shipped in um, from California and wherever else, and that's taking a little longer than wanted. Um, but as always, guys, go down, tickle that subscribe button, smash the like button. Um, if you haven't already, check out shopawb.com. Um, we've got, I think we've got one, maybe two... Um, new sweatshirts coming out on uh, Shop AWB. Um, the shipping is a little slower on there, but uh, feel free to check it out and get some AWB merch. And uh, as always, guys, have a great night.